Would it be wrong to try vegan KFC because it's still KFC? No, I'm going to go try it and I'm going to go promote it. Hundred, do you think the chickens... Do, you, do, do people think the chickens are upset that the vegan, uh, there's a vegan burger on at KFC? How would the chickens feel if vegans boycotted that burger and they took it off the menu and then there wasn't a vegan option at KFC? Well, they, they're, they're, they've got one of the biggest reach out of any corporation on earth. That would be smart advocacy, wouldn't it? That would be clever. No, I'm going there and I'm eating it and I'm promoting it because it's a vegan option and it doesn't matter who sells it. It's vegan. It's vegan. Birds weren't tortured and killed for it, okay? If you want to say, well, the company tortures and kills birds, well, you know, the Sainsbury's in the supermarket where you buy your milk from, your vegan milk from, also sells dairy, so they torture and kill animals. Um, if we don't buy that uh, vegan burger, they take it off the menu. Simple as that. Chickens lose. Animals lose. So we're supposed to be um, on team animals, okay? We want the Colonel, the cru Kentucky Fried Cruelty, to be selling the vegan burger, okay? And yeah. So yes, go buy it, supply and demand. Um, use your um, finances to tell KFC what we want. We want two vegan burgers. We want a whole vegan box meal. We want vegan ingredients coming out of every single evil corporation um, on earth so we can show them that um, the world is changing and this is where they need to steer um, their businesses into more compassionate, more environmentally friendly uh, menu options for the, for the population. So yeah, um, like obviously I don't want to step into a place where they're frying dead birds, but I'm going to do it because <laughs> it's not about me, is it? It's not about how I feel about KFC. It's about what's best for the chickens, isn't it? At the end of the day. Um, and I appreciate why some vegans say, oh, I can't eat there, I can't eat there. I appreciate that. But don't tell other people not to eat the vegan burger there. Don't do that, that hurts animals. Not giving them money to kill animals, that's nonsense. That's absolute nonsense. I'm giving them money to their vegan product that doesn't kill animals. If you think that, you're not thinking this through logically. <laughs> I'll debate you if you like on it. If you if you if you're anti the KFC vegan burger, you're anti you're you're pro um, their other products <laughs> because guess what? They're still going to be making multi billions of dollars off of the cruelty and violence. They take the vegan burger off the, the menu, and then what? They're still making multi billions of dollars of cruelty and violence. We've told them what we want. We don't want them to put a vegan option on. We're not going to buy it. Okay, so there's no change going to happen. Good. That was very that was very clever, wasn't it? That was real clever. Chicken's going to be happy about that. People going drunk to KFC with their friends and there's a vegan option there and they've just been educated on veganism and there's something for them to reach for. Convenience is huge. Do you know how big convenience is for people? You know, some, not everyone cares about like it being deep fried. Not everyone cares about that. People just want convenience. That's huge for people. Everyone's lazy. They want a snack. They're out drinking with their friends. There's a 24 hour KFC open. Boom, there's a vegan option. Shit, let's hit it. Let's hit it. Um, if you, people don't understand how, like, I, I know most vegans do, a lot of vegans don't understand how supply work, supply and demand works. They think if you buy a vegan burger from KFC, you're supporting torture and killing. I'll tell you right now, every single business that you go into that sells animal products, you can apply the same logic to. Oh, so like, you know, went to this restaurant and they had a vegan option on at the restaurant. I'm not going to eat it though because the vegan, op the re the vegan restaurant also sells animal products. So I'm not going to buy the vegan you know, meal that they've put on at the, the local pub or the local restaurant. No. Nah. Oh, you know, Greg's have brought out a vegan sausage roll. I'm not going to buy it because Greg also sells you know, the tortured body parts of pigs. So I'm not going to show them with my money that I want uh, the, the cruelty to end and we're not going to show them that, that vegan products you know, are uh, really marketable and that, you know, nah, I'm not going to, it's all about me. It's all about me. It's not about the bigger picture. You know what I mean? Like that's, that's exactly what people need to think about. Um, and it's, it's, it's I, I think people are sincere when they say it, but they haven't thought it through. They're not looking at the bigger picture here. <laughs> like if there was like some cross contamination, I would still do it. I would still do it. Because, even though it's disgusting, I'm buying the vegan product. There's some cross-contamination probably in the kitchen. Can't avoid it. But I'm doing it 
for the sake of the animals. I'm going in there, hey, there's a vegan burger, I'm promoting it on my platforms, you know, whatever. Let's do what's right. Um, do what's right. Shit quality. Who are you, Maximus? Who cares if it's shit quality? It's better than tortured animal bodies. You ever been inside of a factory farm? Shit quality. I wonder where Maximus gets his food from. Must be a veganic farm around his house where the, the owner of the veganic farm is completely vegan and he never gives money to any corporation at all. Because if you're giving money to any, if you're paying taxes, Maximus, you're paying taxes, that's going to where? Where's that going to? Subsidized factory farms? You cannot win in a capitalist system like the way you're talking. You cannot apply your logic ap across the board. You haven't thought this through. You haven't thought this through. The best thing we can do is buy vegan products, no matter who sells them. Okay? You don't, you're not thinking clearly. All money is blood money. You cannot avoid your money going to some animal abuser down the line. When I get an Uber, where's that money go? He goes and buys lamb chops with it. Can't avoid it. You go into Sainsbury's, you go into the supermarket, I go into the co-op over here, all right, buy a vegan option, buy some, uh, you know, one of the vegan donuts in there. Am I supporting animal abuse because they also sell dairy? Here we go, here's a great one by Maximus. This just highlights what I'm talking about. Go support a vegan fast food chain. Where? Where? KFC have got a bigger reach than any other fast food chain on earth nearly. You don't want them to put a vegan option on? Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Support both. Support both. Do you want them to take the vegan option off just for Maximus? Take the vegan option off the menu? Should they? Do you think chickens will be happy about that? Do, yeah? Nah, you're not looking at it from the animal's perspective. I want everyone to support the vegan options wherever. If there's a full vegan restaurant near your house, I want you to go in there too. If there's vegan options at Sainsbury's or Tesco's or your local supermarket, I want you to buy them from there as well. If there's a vegan pizza on at Pizza Hut, buy that. If there's a vegan burger on at McDonald's, buy that. All right, KFC vegan burger, buy that. Magnum bring out vegan option, buy that. I'm an activist. This is what we want. This is huge, this is history making. It's history making that KFC have a burger on. It's history making. Do you see that our, wor our activism is working? Don't you see that? All this work that we're doing, advocating. The demand is there. This is how we change the world. You're doing anti-vegan activism, Maximus. You're doing anti, you're, you're, doing, you're undoing all of our work. I'll give you another analogy that maybe you might be able to follow as well. If you live in a country that is at war, do you support your whole country because you live in it and pay the taxes? No. If you, if you support, let's just say you go, you live in a country that's at war and you go into a vegan restaurant in that country and you give your money to that vegan restaurant and those, and, and you're supporting sort of the capitalism in that country. Do that, do you then support everything that country does? Do you support everything that government does? No. You're supporting the vegan options where you can. You're buying stuff from a vegan restaurant in the country that's also involved with all these other things. It's the best thing you can do. Gary yourofsky has got an amazing video on this too. And you're gonna tell me Gar Gary Yurofsky supports the slaughter of animals that McDonald's do? No, he's just logical. He's just logical, Gary Yurofsky is logical. He says buy vegan products from non-vegan companies. Gary Yurofsky, 30 year animal liberationist. One of the, the godfathers of animal liberation movement, you know. More in it for the animals than anyone, nearly. This guy is amazing. Dedicated. Dedicated his whole life till he burned out to the, for this movement. He says, buy vegan products from non-vegan companies. That's how supply and demand works. That's how you make change from within the, the evil system. Change the system from within. What is practical for everyone in the Western world is, um, is what should be advocated for. What's practical. If you want to say, well, why don't they just buy from local veganic farms? That's not practical for everyone. There's no local veganic farms around here, dude. There's a Tesco up the road, you know? There's a Tesco here. Is there a veganic farm here? And KFC is still going to exist if you buy from your veganic farm. We want them to put on a vegan option. They've got more reach. They've got a restaurant in every country on earth, in every city on earth. They've got more reach than all of us put together. 
McDonald's have more reach than all of us put together. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? That's good that you agree. I'm glad that you do. And if you don't agree, we can have a discussion about it. But I've thought this through for years, okay? And people see me making a video on McDonald's buying the vegan options. Do you think I eat McDonald's every day? I think I love McDonald's the, the way they had their own slaughterhouse. I think I love that. If a butcher right now selling the body parts of animals put on a soy burger, I'd go in there and I'd buy it. That might seem like, oh my God, he's gonna buy a soy burger from a, from a butcher. Yeah, I would. Because guess what? If a million of us go in there and buy the soy burger, he's gonna shut down his butcher and open up a vegan restaurant. Probably go vegan in the process. If you're applying some other philosophy to, to your veganism, like some purist health mentality or some, some anarchist mentality where that's just not practical for the general public, then you know, you're making things more difficult for the movement and for the animals. See, they sell fruit and veg here, vegan, right? Vegan. That stuff there's vegan, you understand? Yeah? Potatoes vegan. Oh, look at this. They sell the corpses of animals here too, all right? There's the corpses of animals. And look here, right next to the corpses. The Beyond Burger. Vegan options. Vivera mints. Now, old Maximus, who was just in the chat before, should I not buy that with those vegan products there because they also sell meat here? No? Should I? Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe we should just put all the vegan businesses out of business. Yeah, and look over here. Look over here. So they've got, these are all dairy products here. Here's a dairy milk. Exploited cows, exploited cows, exploited cows. And guess what else they got here? Guess what else they got here? Plant milks. They got plant milks here. See, plant milks. Should, I, should we put all the plant milk places out of business because we need to buy from local veganic farms or it's not vegan or they sell dairy products here too? That exploit and kill cows. Should I not buy the plant milk? Nah, so don't buy the vegan burger at, uh, at um, KFC either, hey? That would be good advocacy, you think? Should I start, do you reckon I should use my 100,000 um, followers on this platform to advocate against the vegan burger? To advocate against people bu buying vegan products at supermarkets as well? Do you think that's gonna help animals? Yeah, you think the cows want that? Think chickens want that? Or do you think they want as many vegan products in as many places as possible with the largest reach as possible so everyone's got the convenience to reach for a vegan product when they want a vegan burger or they want some vegan milk? Or they want some vegan ice cream from Ben and Jerry's? Like I said, if there was a butcher selling vegan options, I would go in there and buy those vegan options. And I'd tell vegans, hey, you know, like I know it's hard as it's a butcher there, but buy the vegan options. We got to. And if enough people go in there and buy the vegan options, he turns his whole bloody shop vegan. That's how we change the world.